Shalom, Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who teach and rule well at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations and peace and mercy to the prophets, the hopeful elect, the 144,000, and to the men and women of the 12 lost tribes of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Shalom. Back with another lesson. Um, I'll title this one. Um, he will. He will grant them justice. He he will grant justice to them. He will grant justice to them. Call halal Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Call halal Yimla Alahayinawa Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And justice is coming. You know, ju justice is coming to the elect out of the 12 lost tribes of Israel. You know, um, and overall, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, the tribes, man, Jacob have been oppressed have been have been murdered have been tortured have been slaughtered just completely oppressed in this place America Babylon and 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 in, in these other nations too around the world but Justice is coming for just the, the elect will get justice. Call Halal Yahweh by Shemiah Shai because you know uh, the elect see it and 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 we're dealing with the devil. Esau Edom and he's a murderer. You see, and he wants to, and, and and he wants to, Esau wants to, he wants to murder uh, Jake, man. You see, Esau has all these different ways that he's used in uh, methods and uh, strategies. To, to, to kill these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians over a course of time. Over a course of time. He's done it. And he's still doing it. And the elect, you know, through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, we, we see it. We understand it. And there's no other way that we can over that we can overcome this, but by coming back to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ the Savior. This is the only way we're going to be able to overcome this and get justice. Well, you're not going to get justice by marching and protesting to the enemy. You're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. It's, it's never worked. Or trying to get reparations from your enemy through the Lord, you know we're gonna. That's the only way we're gonna get justice and, and to get delivered out of here. See, let me get to the scriptures. But justice is coming. Justice is coming. We, we seeing it right now. We seeing little, you know, little specks of it. You know, here and there, but it's, I mean, the justice is going to, um, it's going to be completely revealed, you know, uh, it's going to be abundantly <laughs> uh, clear and revealed on this justice that's coming because starting with Esau Edom, he's going to be destroyed. He's going to be stripped from his power and he's going into captivity and right along with the other nations. 
See? And and and, and the elect, starting with the elect of uh, of Israel, man, is going to be put put back in, in in their right place, man. A holy people, a holy nation. Because we're tired, we're tired of this. We're tired of seeing adultery and being around adulterers and, 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 and murderers and eating poisonous food. You know, and all this uh, uh, satanic, demonic rituals and uh, ho uh, holidays, these unbelievable un unbelievers. We want justice, man. We want justice. There's no justice here for Jake. Not on this side, but it's coming. We 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 gonna see. We almost we almost to that point. Let me um. Let me go to um. Let me go to Luke 18. I don't want to make this too long. Just a quick hit. It says, um, Luke, Luke 18 and 7. Or, Salakia. Luke 18 and 1. Luke 18 and 1, and it reads, It says, And he spake a parable unto, unto them, to this end, and, and this is the Lord talking to the uh, uh, to the disciples, man. It says, and he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought to always to pray, that men all ought to ought always to pray. That's why you gotta constantly pray. You gotta pray from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. You gotta pray, man. Constantly pray. Praying keeps the, the, the demons off of you. Uh, uh, keeps you uh, in tune and, and, and um, uh, with the Lord. You know, it, it, uh, prayer helps you through, through different struggles and stuff, going through your day-to-day -day battles, and it, it helps you overcome uh, your battles and things that you're going through when you pray constantly. Financial situations, family situations, car situations, debt situations, uh, um, uh, uh, elements, you know, uh, um, illnesses and body aches, Prayer helps overcome all of that. And he spake a parable unto them. To this end that men ought always to pray and not faint. Never give up. That's why the Lord said, a, seven man, a just man fall down seven times and get back up. Now, does that mean just a, a just man, he just fall down seven times and then, you know, no. That seven represents, that number represents completion. You're going to, you're going to go off, man. You're going to fall. You're going to fall down. You're going to go off. The Lord said a foolish thought is a sin. Does that mean just, oh, well, I, I, you know, you have a bad, no, nah, you got to constantly keep praying and never give up all. You got to keep going all the way to the end. This is what he telling the disciples, man. You got to keep going. You got to keep swinging. You got to keep doing better. Keep trying to do better. Keep keep seeking the Lord. Keep praying. Keep going. See? You can't give up. Even though you go off sometimes, you got to keep going. You can't give up. Keep praying and don't give up. You got to you got to have faith all the way through, man. Keep serving the Lord no matter what. And keep praying to Him. Begging Him for mercy. It says two. It says saying, saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not the Lord, neither regarded men. Basically, the judge, he, he don't fear the Lord and nor does he care about the people. Huh? 
it says three and there was a widow in that city and she came unto him saying avenge me of mine adversaries give me justice and this is the elect man this this represents the elect give me justice man because this is what the elect is doing we're begging for the lord to to to, to bring justice man because there's no justice in this place Everything is corrupted. Everything is tainted. Everything is defiled. They don't believe in the Lord, man, in this place. It says four. It says four. And he would not for a while. See, and he would not for a while. But afterward, he said within himself, Though I fear not the Lord, nor re regard man. It says, um, five, yet because this widow troubleth me. See, he said, yet because this widow troubleth me, he put it off, put it off. But because she keeps bugging me and driving me crazy. This is what the judge said. I will avenge her. See? Lest by her continual coming, she weary me. She keep, by her constantly keeps bugging and, and uh, uh, driving me crazy. I'm going to give her justice. See, and this represents the elect, man. It says six. This is the, this is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. This is him talking to the disciples, man. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, man. This is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai speaking. Six, it says, and the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. Seven, this is the point. This is the point right here. It says, and shall not Yahweh by Shemuel. It says, and shall not Yahweh by Shemuel Shai avenge his own elect? Hmm? See, he's, the Lord speaks in parables and metaphors, man. This can go way over your head. The elect will, the elect will understand this. And shall not Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them, though he pretty much he, he he's he been putting it off. Because like the Lord said, it's been a long time. I, I've, I've held my peace, but the elect is is crying day and night. And just like the lady in the, in the parable, in the story right here, she kept bugging the judge. Begging. Constantly. He said it, he was weary. It weary him. And this is what the elect is doing. Calling on the name Yahweh by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And, and, and praying and, 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 and not giving up and constantly doing his work. Begging the Lord to please come back. And deliver us and give us justice and destroy our enemies, man. Please. Please. And shall not Yahweh by Shemiah Shai avenge his own elect? Justice is coming. Justice is coming to the elect. We're seeing it because look at the prophecies right now. The writing is all over the wall here in America. Hmm? The writing is all over the wall. Which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. Is he going to continue to put them off? It says eight. I'll close out with this. It says, I eight. It says, I tell you that he will he will avenge them speedily. 
He's going to grant them justice. Justice is coming. We're witnessing it right now because through uh, the apostles, uh, 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 um, starting with the apostles and the elders and bishops and prophets on down that great millstone, been, we've been warning you, man. We've been telling you day and night, day and night with these videos and out there on the highways and hedges and every single type of way we can warn Israel, man. And we've been and we've been getting mocked and scorned, and uh, uh, our enemies, starting with Esau, Edom, were trying to remove our pages and remove the Bible and spreading lies and you know, um, I mean, doing every thing possible that's that's unjust to to go against the Lord. And even two thirds of our own people are, are coming against us. But what did he say? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. He's gonna grant us justice. Lord willing, I'm part of the hopeful elect. Lord willing. But he's gonna grant he gonna grant the, the elect justice, man. It says, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, when the Son of Man cometh. Shall he find faith on earth? See? Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, when the Lord come back, shall he find faith on the earth? Call Allah Yahweh by Shemel Shine. See? See? And, and, and we see right now, man. You know, starting with two-thirds of our own people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, they don't believe on the name Yahweh Yahweh Shemel Shah. They have no faith in that name. They don't believe, they don't have faith that they're Israelites. They have no faith in that. They don't have no faith in these prophecies warning you and telling you about what the Lord said about the war, the famine, the pestilence, the earthquakes, the division uh, the, the amongst earth. On earth. All the prophecies. They don't have faith in that, man. But ultimately, they don't believe Yahweh. They don't believe in Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, the God of Israel. They don't believe that. See? So, you know, justice is coming to the elect. And all this stuff that's coming on the earth, like the like the Lord said with through his prophecies, with the war, the famine, the pestilence, the elect is gonna get justice in that because uh the, the elect is gonna be protected and guided and delivered out of, out, out of this tribulation, man, in the Lord's second return. And we're gonna, and the elect is gonna see the downfall of all uh, 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 that rebelled against the Lord. See, justice is coming, and the elect is gonna be delivered and, 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 and have rulership in the kingdom, and fame, and glory, and, and to live forever in, in everlasting joy, and peace, royalty. So it's just something that I wanted to, you know, uh, that was on my spirit. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot going on. The, the MO to the T to the B is pretty much here. It's here. It's just a matter of time before they make it mandatory. That's that's this is this is like the final. You have the MO to the T to the B, and once that happens, it's it's World War Three. All out war, the ICBM missiles are coming and Right along with the great deliverance with Yahweh by Shemal Shai coming back with an innumerable amount of angels, man. We are at the, we are at the doorstep of this of, of, of justice and watching the downfall and, and uh, of Esau, Edom, and these other nations. See, so call Allah Yahweh by Shemal Shai. Hopefully you're edified. Out of my right desire, I'll come back with another lesson. But I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Wadash, Shalom, Israel.